So welcome to NBA Live 15 and my first impressions. And as I always do with this title, with this company, is I just play the game first time. Don't even, I don't have any preconceived notions. <laughs> I'm just going to fire up the game and just see how it is. I, I got past the intro, the intro game, or at least the, the little tutorial they, they put you through. And as you can see, they have a tip-off option for me to play with the Brooklyn Nets versus the New York Knicks. So let's dive into the game. Chance to change the jerseys. Let's go with that New York orange. Let's, let's make Brooklyn wear their black jerseys. As you can see, it's on the pro difficulty. Then there's all-star, superstar, and rookie. So we have rookie, pro, all-star, superstar. I should put it on all-star, but I'm going to play pro just... Just like you would when you fire up the game, I'm gonna play it on the normal difficulty. Coaching options. All right, let's go to tip off. Any direction on the D-pad to call team specific plays. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, we're gonna whip the left stick in a half circle to do a spin gather, shot release. Oh, that's straight out of 2K's playbook right there. Shot the release feedback. Building for this postseason showdown. It is brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm your host, Jalen Rose. The Brooklyn Nets. Oh, that's not bad. Moments away from starting this I like the little moving the New York big Knicks. three intro. That's Mike not too bad. And JVG ready for the call. Welcome to Madison Square Garden in New York. It's game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. Did a real good job of, of showing what Madison Square Garden Nets. looks like in real life. Good evening, everybody. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, I'm Mike Green, ready for a terrific game tonight. Here's today's starting lineups as we get set for the opening tip. All right, starting lineups. Kind of reminds me of Live 10 in a way. I like that. It's the best two words in sports. Game seven. Nothing more exciting for Is that Karolinko? Especially when the winner gets a chance to go to the uh, NBA Finals. He looks finals buff. Game. You can't win it if you're not in it. And to be in the Finals, I'm down. Now, the character two models look a lot better than they did in finish. NBA Live 14. I'm interested to see who steps forward. All right, this is the camera that I chose. Calderon, set to bring it up. Let's call for that screen. Here's the screen. Anthony against Karolinko. Stoudemire's trying to oh, get Oh, I shot it. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, and I got fouled. Called against Karolinko. Picks up his first person. First and Carmelo foul. Anthony will go to the free throw line. He's shooting 84% on the season. Carmelo Anthony shooting. Got a slightly late release, but it went in anyway. What's his position? Is it a three? Is it I think Carmelo Anthony looks pretty good. This guy is one of the most gifted offensive players to all right good bucket arguably the hardest one-on-one -on -one cover in the league because he overpowers smaller quicker players he's too quick for the big strong power forward to try to play it he can shoot it from three he can post it joe johnson for three getting boards with carmelo let's get it down to the big man and going to the post his man down. Okay, the post animations look the same as live 14. And I got a violation. This was a solid addition. That's my fault because I'm over here trying to do use the right stick to do shimmy moves and it wasn't working. Gave him a little bit of space. I hate how it I don't like how it doesn't zoom in a little bit in the paint. Like it's hard to see what's going on in the paint. Set that screen. There you go. I cut to the basket. What? Let's check out these dribble moves. Mm -hmm. 
Pump fake. Shot. And it's good. You can't say too much about the game so far. It, you know, it, it, it doesn't look as realistic as its competitors. But that's not necessarily a bad thing as long as the gameplay is good. Oh, Joe Johnson for three again. Oh. But he's also a good passer. Joe Johnson. Gets this guy's a good Let's get some movement going. Let, let's see what happens if I don't. My biggest gripe with the game last year was there was no movement if I don't call a play. So let's see what happens. As you see, no one's going to move around unless I unless I call a play. Karolinko jumps. I get a free shot for Carmelo Anthony, and he's falling into the stands. And that announcer said two points. Ooh, alley-oop attempt. Oh. I wish we could zoom in a little better. This this looks like run and gun on the arcade way back in the, the 90s. All right, let's call a play. That's a quick play. No, I don't want a quick play. Post up. Isolation. I don't have time. Got to call that isolation. Fade away. I'm getting buckets on you. That's a big time shot right there. Darren Williams with the ball. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. There's a lot of just standing around, it feels like. And I know that you can call a play, but look at this. There's like literally no movement. No! Denied! Let's go ahead and finish this play. Come on. Come on, somebody come with me. Kick it back out to Melo. Pump fake. Set the screen. He's going to slip. That's perfect. Oh, I get blocked under the rim. I can't see anything. Back out to Melo. Got to shoot this. Oh, that's a long shot. Darren Williams. I'm not really feeling these camera angles. They're really strange. Oh, nice oop, though. And Williams cuts to the basket. He has no resistance from Jose Calderon. This was a big problem in Live 14. So this was a problem in NBA Live 14 where players just, because of the animation, players just get completely moved out of the way like, they're not, like they don't exist. And Jose Calderon, he suffers from that. Look, he just gets moseyed out of the way. But that wasn't a bad oop, though. I like the way that was that oop went up. A little bit of history. I've been playing live for longer than some of you guys can remember. I remember when it was called Lakers vs. Celtics and Bulls vs. Lakers. Oh, I got past them. Oh, good, good tip, good tip. Dallin Burke. So I go way back with Electronic Arts. I go way back to when it wasn't even EA Sports. It just Electronic Arts. I remember NBA Live 95 like it was yesterday. So they have come a long way. In fact, the first basketball game that I purchased on a next-gen console was NBA Live 08. And I only did it because I was so shocked at the, the changes in the, uh, the next-gen Look at the games. I was so happy about the sweat. <laughs> Thought it was so cool to look at. Oh, he got past the D. He's doing hop sets and we got a block. Throw it down. We're going to try to dunk this. Ooh, slammed on you, Joe. Oh, I got an award for that. Joe Johnson waiting for Carmelo Anthony under the rim. You get smashed on. The camera angles are pretty tough to deal with. I mean, I tried out some of the other ones, and I didn't like them. Look at that block. That was Shump. 21 Shump Street. What a big block on, on KG right there. Well, that should have been a steal. What happened? It looks like he passed the ball, and it banged right against Amari Stoudemire's face. And then it hit... Kevin Garnett while he's out of bounds. Should be automatic turnover, but I've seen that happen elsewhere. Not a big deal. 
Gotta stay on him, Stoudemire. Stay on him. Oh, high off the glass. 13 seconds left. Let's go. Push it. Let's run a play. Quick post up. No, I don't want the post up. I need Melo. I need Melo. Keep moving, Melo. Wide open after that move. Yes, he's wide. Yes. What a great play. I don't know if that was a full playbook. It was like a quick play, but I, I got Melo to go around the screens. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. Look at that tip in by Dallin Burt. When did that oop happen? Oh, okay. I was about to say nobody caught a oop like that. In the second quarter, so far, Remember, fans, offensive production from both teams can't tonight. play much better offensively than they did. My neck feels like it's got whiplash. The game is going up reach. and down so quickly. I need a neck break, but this is good basketball. Commentary is not as full as I would think your competitors are, but it's there. All right, let's get Shump into play. Not isolation. Now let's get him in an isolation. That's right. Let's see some of these dribble moves. Oh, 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 he's, he's D'ing me up. Kick out, start that over. Pump fake. Little bit of space, he's hand up in my face. No bucket. Not that time. We're seeing some outstanding defensive work. Oh no, he's open under the rim. It's Karolinko, he doesn't get buckets. Back out the shump. I see my man in the corner. Pump fake, no. Alright. Swing it around. And let's run that isolation again. Alright, here we go. Get these crossovers going. You know you can't guard me. You're giving me too much space. You're giving me too much. Oh. Please wake me up when this game is over. I am dying here right now with this poor display of offensive basketball. That's weird. He he just said that this was a great game. And now he's saying wake me up when it's over. The Knicks with the ball control. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, I hit L1. Now we've got quick action plays happening. That's some quick action happening. There we go. Get that re. Oh. The Nets now on the move offensively. Terrific ball movement. Jack against Hardaway. He curls. Oh, no. Nope. Come on. There's the whistle. Nice job to the foul. Tim Hardaway Jr. Jr. picks up his first his personal, first personal, personal foul. Jared Jack Team will go to the line one. with under three minutes to go here in the first half. And Jared Jack misses the free throw. Free throw won't go. Hey, you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled just to get the ball up into the rim was a great achievement. We're still up. Melo's back in the game. Let's get some quick action going. All, all I have to do is hit L. LB and we've got some movement. There we go. More quick action. Making the defense. Try to get down to Bonyardi. Oh my god, I can't I can't just like too much resistance. Smith. Mello at the buzzer. Oh wait. I got fouled. I didn't even see the foul. I really like when I see a team play smart offensive basketball. Get the ball to their great free throw shooter, get him in an aggressive attacking mode, create the contact, and get two free throws. Go ahead, Melo. Do your thing. Good free throw shooting knocks down a pair. So as you guys can see, there's a definite improvement in the graphics. NBA Live 14 looked terrible. This game looked NBA Live 14 looked really bad. This game looks much better. Excellent ball moves, a great team. Oh, good defense. Pick up that ball. Let's go. Neither of these teams has been able to establish any type of offensive rhythm. Just, just kill him, Melo. Break him off. To be able to create Ooh. You need to I just got flung to the rim. Right here, it looks like I beat him off the dribble 
but I didn't take full advantage of it when I changed direction. He went behind his back, but right here, there was some some contact, some collision. If anything, Anthony should have did like a fadeaway, but I was able to just propel forward and do a layup. And that was with like no momentum. In fact, I got knocked back first. And then he just jumps forward with a layup. So that was actually, it wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad either. Still went in, got the bucket. Into the front court. Oh, I got bumped Calvo. off. Pick him up. Oh. oh. Nice dunk, nice strong finish at the rim. Wait a minute, I remember that animation from Live 10. That's not bad. To okay, let's get a screen. Pump fake. Yes. I wish it was a little bit closer. The other camera views I don't really like in the game. Man. The broadcast is really far away. You can barely see the action. Don't want to try to strip Williams. Go a box out, left L1 to box out. And he still gets the rebound. Ooh, hell of a block. That was a great block. Okay, run a quick action play. I like Melo in this position. Oh, that was a nice drop step jump shot. Ah. Oh, I got fouled. Garnett's got to be pissed about that one. And Carmelo Anthony will go to the line. He's four for four from the line tonight. Look, you got to put yourself in position to be fouled if you're a good offensive Not a bad shot. And a great free throw shooter. Take advantage of your strengths. Earn your way to the Carmelo Anthony knocks him down. And as you can see, the, the ball, the player movement is a lot better than it used to be. Oh, that should have been blocked. I don't know how he got this bucket. My guys didn't really, I guess he hop-stepped. And he just threw up some crap and it went in. The player movement is a lot better than it was in NBA Live 14. You can obviously see they made some improvements there. Let's see if I can get through. Come on. Hop step, there we go. Good bucket, Carmelo. That wide button is huge in this game. Not a lot of time left. He's going to have to throw up some crap. No shot. Good rebound. So after one half of basketball, I can tell you that there are some great improvements in NBA Live 15, more so in the graphics and the player movement. They still have some, you know, weird movements here and there, but... Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime It's Report. much better than it used Brought to be. to you by yours truly, Jalen Rose. The Knicks have the advantage Ooh, on the cold. scoreboard. Player of the half, half. game track, highlights. I like this. feel good about how they scored effectively in that opening half. Great offensive display. Nice presentation. I can actually scroll. I can, I can do this. Top plays. Getting rejected. These are the guys getting buckets for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. So now we're going to look at game track. This is really good. I like the halftime presentation. The Brooklyn Nets must be more thoughtful about this shot. Now this was in NBA Live 14, but it looks like they've improved it here too. Too many times they found themselves getting their shots swatted away. Now it's time to commit to the extra pass and use that against an increasingly eager defense. The C player of the half. Player of the half. Carmelo Anthony was lighting up the scoreboard in the first half. And I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure out what it'll take to slow him down. He looks like he's in a zone. Now this ESPN presentation is awesome. Let's have a to look say the least. at the shot chart. I like this. Who was cold? Who was cold? Kevin Garnett certainly hasn't contributed much for his team when it comes to scoring. Are they going to show him get blocked again? 
But more often than not, they just oh, have been get swatted. Get swatted again. And now look at the numbers. And let's see the Knicks highlights. Here we go with the top three plays from the first half. Number three. Ooh, number three. Ah, oh, showing that number block. Two. Carmelo Anthony from deep. Oh, that alley oop. Yeah, that was crazy. The Knicks are feeling comfortable at the halfway. Point. The Knicks entered halftime with a solid lead. And these guys see the New York Knicks highlights. About how they scored effectively in that opening half. I don't know why they like that Great highlight so much. Play. Have a look at the leading scores for the New York Knicks. All right, let's jump back into it. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Hello again, and welcome back to Madison Square Garden. For so, so far, my first impressions, is the game great. feels way All more arcade than its competitor. I mean, it doesn't feel as half. serious. Boy, would this be a nice and it's, for you can Jeff. definitely see that there's a lack of animation, especially in the post-up game. That gets the momentum. But it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel like a terrible game. It feels that you know, the, the word I like to use in the past, I used to always say playable. You know, is the game playable? Nice crossover. And it definitely feels playable. Let's get it back to him. Let's call that isolation. Oh, I tried to throw a loop. Oh, that was by accident. If you push the B button, it's an auto loop. Good defense. Oh, KG for the pickup. Some of the things that I like are definitely the graphics. They have improved. They don't look great, but they look much better than they did before. It's kind of hard to believe that these are face scans. And when the game is not in motion, the players look really good. But when it's in motion, it looks a little crazy at times. And right here, I'm, I'm just dribbling crazy. Josh Smith with defense. Uh, The Nets with the ball here. Pretty pass. Things I don't like. I definitely can't stand the camera. Oh, come on. This is great. Throw that oop. Throw that oop. Ooh! J.R. Smith! Can I get a replay? Now, there's probably an option to make the game do some auto replays, but as of now, I got to do my own. Look at that slam. J.R. Smith. See it again from another angle. Look how the jerseys look. Look how they move. He throws this up. J.R. Smith banging it on him. Great play. Seven, the player models Anthony. do look pretty good. Some of them are a little bit more buffed than they probably should be. Garnett. And there are times where the game kind of resembles run and gun. Everybody's all buff and strong running up and down the court. There's less player movement and less animations in this game than there is in 2K. Which can be a bad thing and a good thing. In 2K, some people think there's too many animations, but they're for a reason. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at that crossover. Look at that. I remember that animation from NBA Live 10. I don't know. It seems like they kind of they kind of went back to some of the NBA Live 10 stuff. And I kind of like that. Williams against Calderon. Oh, he got past me. Come on, Dallin Burke. Oh, yeah. Good D. Get that up. Come on, get the rebound. Oh. And Brooke Lopez with his first field goal of the night. Let's see. Let's see. Let's run a quick play. Quick action play. When you tap the LB button, they're supposed to start running around. There we go. Ooh, these crossovers are serious. I'm going to take this shot. Oh, he's clanking it. Look at that rebound. Kick out the mellow. All right, give me an isolation. Quick play, isolation. There we go. I don't think, I don't think he can guard me. Uh, crossover. Free throw line shot, and I'm getting buckets. That was too easy. They had to call a timeout. Here I think what they're using it for is a quick play to break this run. Try so to there get are some strategies in the timeout. Coming out on ball timeout. pressure, ball screens, force direction. You can do all of this different all these different things here. 
adjustments. Number six, Allen Anderson. The Nets with the ball in possession. Subbing in for the Knicks. Number 21, Iman Shumpert. Lopez is looking to do damage in the paint. We got Brooke Lopez in the paint. Oh, I stepped out. Stay with him. I can't see what's happening. It's the only thing, the cameras are really tough to look at. You can't, it's hard to tell what's going on at times. Look at that spin move. Do it again. Oh. Now pick up my dribble. Let's move the ball around. Let's get that play action. Stoudemire step back. Misses. Oh, look at this steal. Solid team defense. Great steal. One minute in the third. New York up by eight. I gotta kick it out. Oh, and he stole it right back. Oh, come on, what's the collision? Yes. Throw it down to Melo. He's in power forward. Yes, throw that. Oh, bounce off his face. Hectic basketball right now. It's gonna be hard to come back and win this game. Johnson. Oh, he threw up a crazy hook. Hey, you can only wow, that was a crazy hook. I can't believe that went in. Was great. It was just a better shot. Come to me, Melo. All right, let's get that screen going. Here's the pick. Oh, I can't get it to the big man. Ah, he's deep in there, though. Yes, easy, quick bucket. The post moves feel very dated. If they don't feel very skillful. I'm sure there's Number more ways seven, to do some, some crazy post-game, post-moves, but the post-animations don't look very good. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It just doesn't look very good. KG! Okay, we got to move the ball. Got to get it. Got to get it to my guards. Oh, no, he, he launched it. Ah. quarter comes to an end. New York up by six. Stay tuned for more Monday Night NBA presented by ESPN after this short break. Look at that block. Fourth quarter set to get underway. This one. All right, fourth quarter. Game. Moment of truth. Let's go, guys. Five minutes to keep the, keep the score. Keep this lead. And if you got them both, you got a chance. I think that's not a mismatch. Look at these post animations. And I wish it would kind of... Oh, what happened? Oh, five seconds. Ah, and I couldn't, couldn't pull off the move. Oh, he gave, I gave him space. Oh, look at this. We're only up by three. We got to We got to get the ball to the stars now. Let's run a little quick action play. Anthony, get back down to Anthony. Oh, I'm going. I'm going crazy. Yes. There's a little reverse under the rim. Again, I think they could have did much better with the camera angles. It's really tough to see what's happening in the action under, under the paint, in the paint, under the rim. Maybe there's a zoom option. I don't think there is. I haven't seen one. Look at that. You missed it. Look at the mellow. Oh, I took a sidestep in. I'm getting buckets from the three-point line. Woo! Quick hesitation move. Don't do it. Oh, I gave him space. Oh my God, it's my fault. Brooklyn's three for seven from beyond the arc. Hey, if you're not there on the catch, he's gonna rise up and stick it because he's got one of the quickest releases. Ooh, quick, quick. In the end I like that dribble. Let's try that again with Melo this time. Oh. Surprised they're not doubling Melo. Oh, he beats the defender. 
Oh, I lost him. I lost him. That's oh, come on. Oh, good rebound. Stuttermeyer. Reset. New play. So you hold LB and get the guys moving. Shumpert's wide open. Uh, oh, he's still missing it. I think there was a song, Brick House, made long ago. And that's apropos to what Oh, I think I tipped it. No, I didn't. Oh. Miss after miss. And the layup animations don't look very fancy. They don't look very impressive, but they're there. Okay, we got Melo in the post. I like this. Okay, jump off him. Lopez is two. Ooh, good defense, but even better offense. They have to call timeout. Do I make any adjustments? Offensive rebound. Now nah, let's get back on D. Tempo. Let's push the ball. Pick and roll. Let's keep it on auto. On ball pressure. Let's make it. Let's make it strong pressure. Tight defense. Do I need to double team the perimeter shooters? On the catch, yes, because we're up. And I don't want no threes. All right, let's do it. Gets fouled. Let him shoot the easy basket, or do you foul a good free throw shooter late in the game? I think they made a good play, and even though he's a good free throw shooter, make him earn it at the line. And Darren Williams with So we know Darren Williams is gonna make those free throws. They're playing full court, full court press. They're pressing me. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? I can't get past the line. Ah. I didn't ask for that screen. Oh, I was holding X. I don't know what happened. I couldn't get a hand up. All right, let's just slow it down. Slow it down. If you love defense, this is the one because both Joe Johnson on really Mello. Let's see if he can handle it. Oh, I got him. I got space. That's a good jump shot. And Mello, another dagger. Oh, it doesn't matter if he gets in there. Nope. Throw it down. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, stay under the rim. I'm taking that jump shot, and Melo's still on fire. Oh, it says hit R3 for the replay. Look at this. You can hit R3. That's pretty tight. Let me hit it again. Oh, <laughs> I like how you can control those action replays. Oh, he took a bad shot. I knew that wasn't going in, and they fouled us. Wants to stop the clock. Oh, yeah. Keep it moving. They're going to try to foul me. What happened? What happened? No. This was really strange. What happened here? Whoa, what? What? Wow. What kind of glitch was that? This was really strange. I went to pass the ball. Here it is. He's in the passing animation. And as I'm doing a chess pass, the ball, because of Darren Williams interrupting the animation with the intentional foul, or what, what, what? I didn't even get hit here. I just fell out of bounds. Oh, that's terrible. That shouldn't happen. Come on now. I've seen something like that in NBA Live 14. Williams looking to do and he still gets buckets. You're not gonna see a better possession in the NBA. What's happening? What happened right there? 
There are some serious shenanigans happening in this game. What? What was that? Look at this. Look at this. Kevin Garnett is at the three. Oh, whoa. KG. Kevin Garnett goes from the half court line all the way. Look at this. And he pushes him from out of bounds. He couldn't even inbound the ball. This is unacceptable. There's no way. Look at this. Kevin Garnett. Oh my God. How did that happen? He couldn't even inbound the ball properly. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know when. But NBA Live, this is what happens in your game. Look at this. What are you doing, Kevin Garnett? Who are you fouling? This always happens in live, and then look at that. He teleported, he warped. That was the greatest warp of all time. I've seen warps like this in Madden football years ago, but nah, man, this doesn't happen anymore. This is just crazy. Whoa. Unbelievable. Come on, Calderon. Knock these free throws down so we can wrap this game up. Oh my god! Off the mark on the first free throw. One for two of the line. They lead by six. Whistle blows. Timeout here late in the fourth. The strategy is simple right now. I don't know what to say. I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words right now after that craziness. It took place. These intentional fouls are extremely glitched. No unnecessary oh, you can't steal the inbound. Get Hold an X. Stop. And then That's got to be a bad out shot. Get out the Darren Williams gets the rebound. Stop. Yes, good block. The and there goes the intentional foul. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, come on. Stoudemire. Uh, and I make that one. Now a seven-point game. As we wind down the fourth, there's a timeout. Coming out of a timeout in the last minute of the game, many teams would give up in this situation. No, what you have to do is get a quick three. When you knock that in, come a on, team needs set up. Your Let me get that steal. I'm tapping X. Oh my God! I just won't let you get it. Nice move inside. Attack. No, it's good defense. Oh. Wow, the they are fouling us and they're staying in the game. More Pablo. Prigioni. Uh, up by six. Up by seven. Perhaps getting out of reach. It's up to seven. Stay with him. He's wasting too much time. You gotta score. You gotta score quickly. You're wasting way too much time. That's a three. What? Whoa! He's made some crap. Now they're gonna foul me again. Carmelo Anthony, 35 points. Are they saying MVP? And he hits the first free Slightly throw. late, but I still get the bucket. Nice uh. Carmelo Anthony. You only have 10 seconds left. This game is all but over. Even if you make that. And you didn't. And why are you still fouling? Ah, you think you can get two threes in three seconds? Oh my God, that's a terrible free throw shot. That's a late release, so we're going to release it on the, the hitch. This man hitches when he shoots. There we go, look at that. <laughs> on the hitch. What you going to do? You pass it to Joe Johnson for nothing. It's all over. 
the New York Knicks take away my first impressions game. We saw some absolutely unacceptable shenanigans in this game. But overall, the game is definitely playable. The graphics look better. Player movement is much better. You have to push a button to get people to move around still. That's kind of old schoolish in a way. The presentation is really nice. But the overall game feels very arcade. Very, very arcade. Highlights from the Knicks. They won the Eastern Look Conference at Carmelo Trump. Anthony. They got the him down in this game, though. Locker room must be going. Crazy I can't see the highlight as a referee in a way. There we go. As tomorrow rolls around, nice layup. These guys will be right back to business. Here I the like the net physics. The most I don't know New why York that's Knicks. important these days. It, it's important now because it's always been an issue. When you have a look at these highlights, maybe not so much in the NBA Live Series. Wasn't able to get it together. It was Brooklyn Nets. It was a nice loss. slam. Joe Johnson, all you did was shoot threes. Here are the guys who put up the most points. 13 points, 12 and 6 Brooklyn points. Nets. Let's see, player of the game has to be Carmelo Anthony. Oh, we're looking at game stats. 18 rebounds. I had seven turnovers. <laughs> player of the game. Melo could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. Let's check out the shot chart. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number three. Number two. I like these top plays, how they do a nice little countdown. That was a nice oof. And that was the number one play. A oop to Karolinko is a better play than an oop to J.R. Smith? I beg to differ. All right. So my first impressions of the game. Better graphics, better player movement. Some real choppy animations. And some heavy arcade influence but overall the game is definitely playable it's still about two years they need another two years to really step it up you know and you know we'll see we'll see I, I, I'll continue to play this game we'll put out some more videos and and discuss some things here I like some of these options and we'll see what else this game has to offer so it's your boy shake hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, we'll see how much more to come definitely want to try out the game a little more as always like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll holla at you dudes later